Everyone always says that learning to code is incredibly hard. I've even said it myself. But in reality, when you think about it, learning to code is actually relatively easy. Now, before you go writing angry comments telling me how hard programming is, hear me out real quick. Think back to when you were first starting to learn how to code. Things like creating variables and creating functions were quite difficult, it was really alien to you, and you didn't really know what you were doing. But you probably figured those things out relatively quickly and were able to write some super basic programs that were just console logging hello world to the screen. And some of the more complex JavaScript features, for example, like promises, callbacks, passing around functions, those things maybe took you a little bit to understand, and you may still be struggling with those because they are quite complicated concepts. But overall, if you dedicate a bit of time to them and some practice, you'll eventually get them and they're not too terribly difficult to learn. But why is it that now that you understand all these concepts, you still struggle to actually build projects on your own? You maybe can watch tutorials and understand every single thing that's going on, but when you try to build a project on your own, you still don't have any clue where to get started or what to do. This is because the actual learning to code part is relatively easy, like I said. The hard part is that you don't know how to think like a developer, and this is a very difficult skill to learn. The reason it's so hard to learn this skill is because almost all the places you go to learn to code do not teach you how to think like a developer. YouTube, terrible at it. Articles and blogs, terrible at it. Even many courses are absolutely terrible at it. The reason for this is because take YouTube for example, all of my project-based YouTube videos, I'm showing you how to build a project. This is really good for showing you how code works, especially in more complicated situations, but it doesn't teach you how to think like a developer. Even if I explain my thought process and tell you what I'm thinking, it doesn't actually prepare you to think like that yourself since you haven't actually stretched your own thinking muscles and learned to think like a developer. This is actually one of the reasons I really hate those courses that sell you on giant big projects that they show you how to build like a Netflix clone or a Facebook clone. Because yeah, when you're done, you have a super cool project to show on your portfolio, but if all you did is watch a video of someone else building that project, did you really learn how to build that project? Sure, you understand how some of the code fits together, but do you know how to think like a developer and actually build out that project from scratch? Because if I told you to build the Netflix clone, you're probably really going to struggle with it, even if you've seen a course of someone else doing it already. The best analogy I can give to help you understand this is think about trying to learn a new language, not a programming language, but an actual spoken language like Spanish, English, or whatever. Now imagine you got a genie that gave you any wish you wanted. You could tell the genie, you know what, I want to know every single word in Spanish. And the genie populates your brain with every single possible word in Spanish. But you still have no idea how to speak Spanish. You don't know how to combine these words together to create sentences, to express your thoughts and communicate with other people, and you don't know how to read Spanish or how to actually hear people speak Spanish to you. You know every single word in Spanish, but you still can't communicate in Spanish. This is the problem a lot of people run into when it comes to coding. If you learn how to you know, do all the different things in JavaScript, how to create variables, how to create functions, and so on, that's great, but how do you combine that into an actual application or program that you can write? You don't know how to do that. So instead of focusing on constantly learning more and more and more features, you really need to focus on building the skills of thinking like a developer. Now obviously this is much easier said than done, so I'm going to give you a few tips that are really going to help you to be able to think like a developer. The very first one actually doesn't really help you as much with thinking like a developer, but it helps you build applications from scratch. And that is learning how to connect your concepts together. Just like with the Spanish situation, if you know all the words, but you don't know how to connect them into sentences, you can't speak. If you know all of the JavaScript concepts, but you don't know how to combine them together, you can't build projects. So instead of just focusing on learning individual JavaScript concepts, focus on how you can connect those concepts together to build things with them. It doesn't have to be large things. These can be incredibly tiny applications you build in five or 10 minutes, but practicing combining your different concepts together, seeing what works and what doesn't work, gives you the skills that you need to be able to build things together to create actual projects. Now the next tip I can give you when it comes to thinking like a developer is focus on building projects. Now that's the advice that everyone gives you, so instead of giving you just that generic advice, I'm gonna to try to give that advice even better. First of all, you wanna focus on projects that are going to be at your skill level. So generally, I would recommend doing projects that are easier than you think you can do because you are overinflated in your sense of self, so you're like, oh, you know, I can build that, it can't be that hard. But almost every project you think is gonna be relatively easy is always probably twice as hard as you think since there's so many unknown things that you run into. So always err on the side of caution with a slightly easier project when you're choosing your projects. If you still have no idea what project to choose and you're completely overwhelmed, the next piece of advice I can give you is to find a YouTube tutorial building out a project. 
I know I've mentioned that that's a bad idea, but find one building out a project and follow along with them building that project and make sure it's something that's within your skill level. Don't do like a Facebook clone or something crazy like that. Make it relatively easy. Then once you finish watching that video, take that exact project and add something to it. It doesn't matter what it is, just add something to it. If it's a to-do list application and maybe they have the ability to create and delete to-dos, add the ability to edit them in yourself. Don't watch a tutorial on how to do it. Don't read articles on how to do it. Add this in yourself. Sure, if you get stuck, you can Google some things. I mean, that's how everyone does things when they're programming, but add this feature in yourself without watching a tutorial telling you exactly what to do. This is a great baby step to really stretch your muscles and start thinking like a developer because you already have some code to work with. So you're not you know, starting from a blank slate, which is really scary, but you're also doing things on your own, which is the most important part. Now, the final tip I can give you, and this one especially helps when you're trying to build a project from scratch on your own and you get intimidating looking at a blank text editor is to separate the logic from the code. Like I said, learning the coding portion of coding is not terribly difficult. Sure, it's not super easy, but it's not the hardest thing in the world. So if you separate out the coding portion from the logic portion, that is really going to help you to actually connect these concepts together. Because where most people get stuck when they're learning is when they try to implement logic and code at the same time. So you're trying to think like a developer and you're trying to program your stuff at the same time. And those two things are hard to do at the same exact time. So instead, think of the problem you have. Let's go back to a to-do list application. And instead of starting by writing code, start by writing what the logic of the application is. Think, okay, how does the user interact with that site? That's the first thing I like to go to. Well, generally, they're going to enter some information in an input, and when they click submit, it'll add a to-do to a list, and maybe there's a checkbox they can click and a delete button they can click to remove that to-do. So you have like three or four different user interactions the person can take on your site. And for each one of those, think of the logical steps that your application will go through. So for example, when they type into the text box, that makes sense, and they click submit, what happens? Well, we need to create a to-do, then we need to show that to-do on the screen, and then we probably wanna clear out the text box so they can add new to-dos in the future. So now you have like three steps you can implement, and those three steps can go even a step further. So for example, creating a to-do, well, you maybe need to give it an ID and add it to an array, so now you have two more steps inside of there. And for actually rendering the to-do, you know, you need to create a checkbox, you need to create a label and add all that to the DOM. So you have, you know, two, three, four different things that you can do inside of there. And now you have essentially a checklist of all the things you need to do, and each one is relatively simple. Clearing out the input value, that's one line of JavaScript. You know, doing a form event listener, that's relatively simple as well. You know how to do that. And each one of these things is just one or two lines of JavaScript. And as you combine them all together, now you have a working application. So the idea behind separating these two things is to really focus on the logic at once and then focus on the coding next. And since you don't have to focus on them both at the same time, it makes it much easier to actually think about and implement the problem you're trying to solve. And again, it just breaks it down into smaller steps, which are generally easier to grasp. And also kind of a little secret here, thinking like a developer is really just taking big problems and they're turning them into small enough problems that they're easy to implement. Now, if you're interested in finally focusing on the skills that you need to actually become a successful programmer and build projects on your own, I highly recommend checking out my courses. I have courses on CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, React, and many more hopefully coming in the future. And all of these courses that I have follow this exact same methodology. I focus on learning the individual concepts then combining those concepts together, and most importantly, focusing on tons and tons of different exercises and projects, usually 30 plus for each course that I have, but are going to teach you how to connect all those concepts together, and most importantly, think like a developer, since it allows you to separate the logic and the coding, and it steps you along with baby steps until you're able to build out massive projects entirely on your own with no tutorial needed. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'm gonna have all my courses linked down in the description for you. I highly recommend you check them out.